hello guys and welcome back to my channel today is a super exciting day for me because the car we're driving today it's one of my favorite cars you know or wanted cars for the past couple of months and it is a 2019 BMW M850i what a machine Hey, let me show you about the exterior because it looks so good uh, this color is called the Barcelona a blue metallic it's a beautiful color it looks different this is the M Sport uh, black package so the grills everything uh, comes in black instead of the silver you know so many people were crying about the grills it's not so bad I know it's a bit smaller than the X5 and the X7 and even the 7 series but they fit this car they're very aggressive front and they close and they open so it's a smart system you know and for aerodynamic purposes and for visuals i think it looks really good it's laser lights they look very good they um, they eliminate like 200 meters more this is the grill there's cameras intelligent system i really like the front bumper and the splitter looks so good so aggressive 20 inches wheels 245, 35, 275. I was expecting thicker wheels, but they done it. I believe they just wanted to keep it for the M8. Side grill, M logo, new mirrors, side skirt, integrated with the same color. Look at the shape of that glass. As I mentioned, the car looks really good from the front, really good, but actually it looks good from every angle. This color fits with the silver rims. If black, it's not gonna be so good. I wish the wheels are a bit better. I mean, they're good, but not my favorite. And the brakes are not ventilated. Lovely, lovely line, man. Look at the shape, fantastic. It looks very wide and very tall. I like the black parts, outside parts of the car. You know, this car really is aggressive. Well done BMW with this design. Very thin LEDs in the back. Same as the front, but they look very good. They eliminate great. Our biggest complaint was the bumper, but they integrated very nicely with the diffuser, with all these different elements. There's a small lip there from the same color. I love the lights so much. I like them more than the 330, the new ones. The new ones from the 330 just like straight angles. These ones, they are not. They're very close to the LCI lights, which we like, M850. Let me go down, zoom in. You see that opening guys there's two exhausts not one so the exhaust opening is fake but the exhaust itself it's not unlike the other brands i believe the inserts from the outside they are grayish more than blackish you can get them as a package 
Um, those openings, they are fake. They don't serve any purpose. But look at the angle of the car, guys. Look at how wide it is. All brief for the interior. We're gonna speak about it in details later, guys. I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful. Look at those seats, brown leather, black. I'm steering wheel, gear shifter, the yeah, iDrive 7. This video I'm gonna just have a generic view about my first impression about the car. Of course I'm gonna show you some features and how the car sounds. Now I'm driving the car in comfort mode. The car tend to be relaxed. The exhausts are close, but as soon as you press on the gas, the car really accelerates. First impression, so much presence on the road, really. Right away, I'm gonna put it in sport mode. And the car really makes a huge difference. It's fast, man, it's fast. X-Drive, all-wheel drive system is just so grippy. Absolutely great. Speed is just marvelous. Effortless speed. Amazing stuff. What impressed me about this car is BMW, the Capti V8, at a larger scale, 4.4 liter instead of the 4 liter that we find on the AMG. It makes kind of difference, especially that you know this is the base engine and capacity and Imagine what they're gonna do with the M8 and the M8 competition and eventually M8 CS or CSL, we don't know yet. So this car produces 530 brake horsepower between 5,500 RPM and 6,000 RPM only. It doesn't drive more than that. But the torque is crazy in this car, 750 Newton meters of torque. And it starts from 1,800 RPM all the way to 4,600. It starts so low there. You know, let, let me demonstrate for you. This is second gear. Look at this exhaust. Oh, man. The car really pushed me back in the seats. It's very torquey. It seems BMW with the last generation models and this one. They're not putting too much crazy numbers from the power perspective. But they're putting lots of torque and it works. And it's beautiful stuff, man. What I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna put it in sports individual, which is the hardest setting I configured. Oh shit. The sound is fantastic. Really, really nice. That engine was introduced and features in the BMW X5 50i, M50i, which I reviewed and I had a couple of videos and I'm gonna still make more videos about it. If you did not see that, please check it in the link below and it's gonna be on top right of the screen. Transmission is very, very good and very smooth. It fits the car character and it doesn't lag at all on the upshifts and downshifts. So there is no more dual clutch gearbox, which is, means it's lighter. The eight-speed Steptronic Sport transmission. It's very nice transmission, very smooth, easy to live with on daily drive. And if you put it in automatic mode, it's just a regular automatic. If you wanna use the pedal shifters like now, doesn't really really lag at all it's very precise and it's fast fast shifts I've seen the same transmission on a couple of cars but you have to understand that this is the latest version it's sportier and more aggressive than the other version and there's so much wider ratio spread between the gears and you can feel it, that means you don't, you don't really use the upper gears unless you're cruising and you're going very, very high in speed. You see, this is third gear. I love this man, this transmission is fantastic. BMW X Drive, it's all-wheel drive system. It's very intelligent all-wheel drive. And also it has the electronic control, differential lock. It operates really intelligently and better than ever. Power is always split according to demand electronically of the car, so the car knows exactly when to send power to the front and rear and to each wheel specifically, and that's amazing.
acceleration in Sports Plus is fantastic. Um, the steering wheel and the actual suspension, you can't make it in Sports Plus. I believe they kept it to the M8. They could easily have done it, like an extra option or two. So the highest setting you can go for Sport, but it's not bad. light for my taste but I'm pure am guy you know listen to that exhaust guys trumbles I love this exhaust it's much deeper than the M5 which is surprising because the M5 had more than 610 brake horsepower this one is more aggressive more deep noise it crackles more sure this is a variable exhaust so it open and close with different flaps based on the speed and the setting that you do so sport plus it tend to open more or fully open and it makes crazy noises that being said with this engine power and the x drive and the transmission the car can do now 0 to 100 kilometers in 3.4 seconds but it doesn't feel that big you know what i mean it doesn't feel that long but it does feel very wide because the witness of the car, you can't hide it much, to be honest. Okay, let's talk about how the car feels, you know, as a driver's perspective. So much grip, body roll, very minimal. Can go crazy speed on high corners. That X drive really absorbs the bumps. Very nice suspension, not very stiff and not very soft, if you know what I mean. It has rear wheel steering as well, so it helps with the long curve and the smaller ones. So it turns at the same direction as you know uh, the front if you're going fast and the opposite if you are making a U-turn or small curves. Nice grip. It gives you lots of confidence that X drive system. Before, used to worry a little bit because you know you know that the car is real wheel drive only and that means you have to be careful because there's so much power in the front and the big engine and stuff like that overtaking is fun too we need to relax here guys there is a speed radar like everywhere in Dubai now and we need to respect that first impression is just fantastic I'm happy guys it makes me really happy it's just there's so much satisfaction driving it the noise is fantastic it's a bit channeled through the speakers but you can feel the exhaust is working you can feel the engine is working too that means it's not purely fake as many claimed it's not and many many companies they are doing this technology right now sound you hear it it's loud guys i'm really happy with the damping of this car i was a bit worried it's gonna be soft it's not it's a perfect you know adjustability between comfort sport and sport plus and it's just not uncomfortable and still very sporty and grippy and lovely stuff so turbo lag almost non-existent because of the shape of that engine layout the v-shape they put the turbos inside and they're so close basically and that means they will have, which is great stuff because we all appreciate no lag basically. Turbocharged cars always be criticized for two things. One is a turbo lag and two is a sound. And I'm happy to say in this car that the turbo doesn't spoil the experience of the car because I don't feel there is a lag guys really. And look how much the car is really punchy, you know, grippy. Lovely. This is a very good opportunity for me to reflect on my experience with the M4 competition package that I had for almost, you know, 16 months plus. Um, also, I owned the M4 for another one and a half years, the standard one. Also, knowing that the M4 is going to be out of production very, very soon, which means I'm not going to have the opportunity to drive an M4, M3 for the next two years at least in Dubai. And something I learned, and I really, I will not do it again, that 
if you want to get an M4 or M3 or any M cars, don't get the standard, get the competition package. Which is good because now the competition, it's just transformed the car. And at the same time, the competition is a bit more expensive, but gives so much more stuff. Also, the competition doesn't come after a year or and a half years, like before or two years. I've seen it, it comes almost six months after the actual uh, standard car is being released, which is great stuff. BMW did a tremendous job. The car is grown in size, but did not lack any any power. I love those seats. They're super comfortable, soft, merino leather. The smell, ventilated, heated. There's so much adjustability for those seats. Even the one on the X5, it was fantastic. But those even better. They're amazing. The new steering wheel, as I mentioned before in my x 5 video, and the new steering wheel shape is still thick, maybe a bit thicker, and it looks fantastic, and it feels fantastic too. This is my first vlog and first impression about this beautiful M850i. It's fantastic. It's probably again, you know, <laughs> my favorite cars from BMW. Please stay tuned. I'm going to review the car, have more videos and content about it. If you did not subscribe, please subscribe, guys. And follow me on Instagram because I'm very active there. And I'm going to see you super soon.